Hey guys, so for today's video, I thought I would do another come charity shopping with me in London video. The last time I did this video, we went to Dalston. This time, however, we are going to Walthamstow because there's a stretch of High Street between St. James's Park and Walthamstow that has seven or eight charity shops kind of in a row down the same street. And that is like charity shop gold, in my opinion, because it means you're not like traveling around loads. So yeah, I'm heading there now. I'm gonna jump on the train and see what we can find. When going charity shopping, it's always good to have a rough idea of what you're after so that you don't end up like endlessly picking stuff out just because it's kind of affordable. So today I'm after a, like an oversized leather jacket. I used to have one from a charity shop. It was my favorite coat ever. I don't have that coat anymore. So I'm hoping I can find something quite similar. I'm also after some more kind of uh, layering pieces. I'd like some shirts or blazers or knitwear to layer up with in the autumn winter months. Got my tote bags with me and I'm very excited. So my first stop was an Oxfam. I really love this store. I found so many good pieces, which I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But they have a nice selection of books and clothes. The layout of this store is really convenient from types of clothing to color coordinated. And they've got some really nice vintage blazers and bags in store as well. So about a minute's walk is Age UK. So we're gonna go in here next. Age UK, I don't think I purchased anything from, but they had so many clothes. They had some awesome tan leather trousers, which I thought were very in right now. These were only 3 dollars so they had a couple of really great bargains in this store. That Age UK wasn't as successful, but, but we're moving on now and we've got two of my favourite um, charity shops opposite each other, which is very cool. Next up is Sue Ryder. I've just spotted that they need donations and I have a big bag of clothes I can bring here, which is great. So yeah, I'm gonna pop in here next. I love the styling they've done in the window. It's so cool. Those trousers are awesome. So in Sue Ryder, I found some really nice tops. I purchased quite a few from this store. Everything was color coordinated and in size order. So it was really easy to kind of target and pinpoint some gems that would fit. They had a nice jumper from Harrods for only five pounds. It was a really nice, good quality, thick wool. This is exactly what I was thinking about, but I think it's gonna be a bit too big. I will try it on though. I've also found this kind of like brown one which i think might be fake so tempted for a pie and mash oh my god it looks so good in there next up is trade one of my favorites the layout of this is always so good. Trade was great because the store is huge. So in COVID times, you're not near to many other people and the quality of things here are amazing. There's such a great selection of vintage items, loads of jackets, loads of jumpers, loads of menswear, and they've got changing rooms. So you can try it loads of bits on as well. But yeah, this store is so big. You can just spend hours in here getting lost in all the vintage items. So. Here are a couple of the items I tried on and you can stay tuned to see whether I got them or not. Right, that was extra, extra successful. I love trade. Had some good stuff in there. They're definitely more on the pricey side than normal charity shops, but their section is normally very good. And then they have a lot of vintage stuff in there. So now I'm heading about five minutes down the road to a scope and I think British Heart Foundation. There is also a British Heart Foundation for furniture and electricals but I've got to make a detour for that and I certainly can't be carrying anything else home <laughs> so I think I'm gonna skip that one but no if you come here that it is around. Here we are. So the British Heart Foundation had a really great selection of shoes all laid out in size order and they had some great winter coat options as well. It's always such hit and miss when you go charity shopping. Sometimes there might be loads of great stuff and sometimes it's a little bit more difficult to dig some good pieces out but I really appreciate it when charity stores spend a little bit more extra time dividing into categories and sizing it just helps loads. They also had a really good book selection in here. Final stop for the day is Scope. Oh they've got music 
They've got guitars in there, that's kind of cool. We haven't seen any of that yet. Again, I went straight to the accessories and to the coats and jackets. Really enjoyed this store again. I thought the layout was cool. They also had some nice vintage cameras in store. So if collecting those are your thing, then you might like that. I always like to have a look at the menswear items as well because I normally find some nice oversized shirts, jackets and coats in those rails as well. So I am back home now and I am quickly going to show you what I got from each of the charity shops. It was a very successful little shopping trip. I think there were two stores I didn't get anything from, but I found some right little treasures in the other ones. I think there's a definite theme to the kind of things I purchased today. So I'm going to show you them all here and then I'm going to try them on because some of the pieces I wasn't able to try on in the store. So if they don't fit right, that would be a big shame. I'll either have to get them tailored or I could al always give them back to a charity shop basically. Or sell them on my Depop, who knows. So the first store I went to was Oxfam and I really like this charity shop. The last time I went into this store, I found some really cute wicker baskets that I use for my makeup storage so I knew that they had some like nice homeware pieces in there. I picked up firstly this awesome knitted top. It's not something I've ever chosen before or worn but I absolutely love it. The material has all these kind of neutral shades and it's also got a little bit of a shimmer and this kind of chevron patterning to it. I'm pretty sure it's vintage because it's a brand that I've never heard of. It says Classics by Berkatex, £3.50. So here is the t-shirt. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. The colours are so cool. I love the shimmer. I think it's very easy to wear but you could also dress it up with some like nice big earrings. And I found a bag that I thought would go brilliantly with that kind of outfit I was describing. Funny story of this bag. I walked in and it was one of the first things I saw and I was like oh my god I love that bag. And I left it there and I was like I'll come back later like I want to scout out the shop first and then I'll come back to it. And then this woman picked it up and I was like no like I'm pretty sure in my, I had my mask on I'm pretty sure I was like no um and she was really thinking about it she thought about this bag for about 10 minutes she was walking around kind of opening it up like playing with it um really taking her time trying to decide and I was so happy when she put it back and walked out the shop because I was like that is it was meant to be mine it is from a brand called gosh I have no idea Ket Ken Ken definitely feels like a real leather, tan colour and like a woven fabric. It feels really high quality and I just love the shape of this. So you can adjust the straps to make it more of a crossbody or you can wear it as a little like shoulder bag. I think I preferred it when it was a bit of a crossbody and it has a couple of different compartments. So you lift it up and it has this flap here which is secured by a little magnet and then you've also got this bigger compartment here which is secured by a zip so it'll be really interesting to see how much I can fit in here this is definitely like definitely vintage yeah I've never heard of this brand it is 100% leather and 100% cotton inside so a very sustainable bag and fabric and even though it's a tiny bit worn I think that just adds a whole load of character to it so I am so excited to wear this bag and take her out so happy with it it was £6.50 this top which was actually in the sale I think I paid £2 for this this is from m and I, I do like m and clothes so I'm not gonna lie I think the quality is always quite good a very very simple black t-shirt kind of boxy and oversized with these buttons going down the front and again I just think this is super easy to just chuck on with a pair of jeans it also has this kind of puff sleeve with it as well so here is the M&S top I've realized because it's longish and has buttons I can tie it make it into a little crop top with the kind of bits hanging out or i could just tuck in and again i really like this kind of style i feel like i've really found my style with this haul which is so fun i love the material as well it's kind of like a linen feel so it feels a little bit more kind of expensive also with my accessories super cool i think i need to get some like tan boots in my life now 
for this look. I found this little wicker basket with these wooden handles and I just love this. I think it's so cool. This was £1.50. I just thought like on a shelf you could hide the little things that kind of scatter around like charges. I could even put some makeup or perfume in there and keep it kind of nice and tucked away and organised. Um, it's very sturdy and high quality so I'm very happy with that. So that was everything I picked up from Oxfam. After that I popped into Sue Rider. I really like Sue Rider charity shops. There's an awesome one in Peterborough which is just like a vintage Sue Rider where they collect and ship all the vintage stuff that comes in. Sell them in that store. I found some of my favourite coats and bags from that store and this shop was a huge success for me. I found some really gorgeous items. Firstly I found this jumper and I love this jumper i've never seen a jumper like this um, it, this doesn't have the tag on so i have no idea where it's from but it's a nice skinny tight black jumper with some embroidery on the front which leads into like a mesh so it's like a nice gradient in the cutaways it will show it better but i've just never seen a jumper like that and i thought it was the be most beautiful thing i love this em like floral embroidery so that was three pound fifty i wonder where this is from oh it's from warehouse cool so here is the jumper i didn't realize kind of how far round the mesh detailing went but i really love it i'm surprised it's got no kind of snags in there because this kind of fabric is really easy to kind of accidentally pierce yeah i love the fit i love how tight it is i love how you can tuck it in to some high-waisted jeans yeah it's just something a little bit different isn't it than just your normal black kind of knitwear I found a cardigan that i absolutely love it's just a plain black cardigan with this really beautiful embroidery on it i realized that i'm really like loving embroidery at the moment i think it can change like something quite simple into something very special and again for this i was thinking just tucked into a pair of black jeans four pound fifty and i do think i'll get a lot of wear out of that i think i'll definitely wear it kind of done up rather than as an actual cardigan this is the embroidered cardigan i just wasn't sure i wasn't 100 percent on this i actually really love it on i love how kind of tight it is and um, the only problem with it being so tight is that when i like move some of the gaps open up in the blouse which is a tiny bit annoying i wonder if i do that it will happen a little bit less but yeah i really love the embroidery i love the fit so i am actually really happy i picked this up another kind of cardigan piece of embroidery this is from fnf which i think is tesco or sainsbury's but this really surprised me it's definitely <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a little bit unfashionable but i really liked it it's just a white cardigan short sleeved with again some embroidered detail on it i found a couple of really nice pieces like this but some of them had stains on you've got to really pay attention in the charity shop because it's so easy to like see something gets fucked up in it but you need to take your time to like look at it properly make sure it isn't ruined in any way but yeah i really like that i absolutely love this obviously i wouldn't pair it with a black bra but it's so cool i love the oversizedness of it i love it with a pair of high-waisted jeans tucked in i think it's just like very effortless it's got some nice puff sleeves and the embroidery just gives a little bit of something different so yeah love this this is better than I was expecting and then the final thing I picked up was a bit of an impulse buy they had a gorgeous leather jacket in there which was just what I was after but it was way too big on me um but I did find this shirt which is kind of like an over shirt I would lay this up with like a really nice thick woolly cardigan underneath it's an XXXL and it was four pounds and for four pounds I just couldn't turn it down because I love the color of it I love this style. I think it's super cool. It's definitely very oversized on me. But G and I could definitely share this. This is the men's shirt. It is super oversized. I've had to roll the sleeves up quite a lot. Oh, we were at a wonk. One sec. And it's still quite big on me. But I kind of love that oversized look. Like... It's just a style that I feel really confident and comfortable in. Um, I love the colour of it. I think it's a really gorgeous colour. And I think you could e I could even get away with wearing this as a dress. Like if I did all the buttons up and clinched it in at the waist with a nice little belt. And maybe like cycling shorts underneath. I think that would work too. So I do really want to get some wear out of this. And I think that would be easy because I love the colour so much. Then I popped into Trade which is one of my favourite brands of charity shops their shops are always so well laid out 
very fashionable they've always got some really great pieces but the price point is very high like much 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 higher than normal charity shop prices like if anything is the slightest bit vintage they add another five ten pounds onto it so you're paying a little bit more but i feel like you don't have to work as hard in there because they've got like great stuff everywhere and i found a lot of stuff in this store that i loved i found these awesome trousers these are from zara women they were 8.99 and they fit really well i tried these on they're like a really beautiful brown neutral check i'm very into this kind of style at the moment they seem in really perfect condition i think i'll get a lot of wear out of them the trousers are so comfy they're a really nice kind of soft cotton material they are a tiny bit too too big so I tighten my belt a little bit more but I think they're really smart looking super comfortable very much love the style of these right now very like mad men-esque trouser suit I picked up really gorgeous long sleeved top from and other stories this was 7 99 so as you can tell like I think these pieces in other charity shops would have been around four pound ribbed and long sleeved and it just looked really cool with my outfit today very happy with that i don't own much stuff from and other stories it's kind of nice to experiment with brands that i haven't really bought before really happy with this i think i'm gonna get loads of wear out of it i love the color it's kind of very autumnal and um, but also i think it complements my skin quite well as well which is weird perfect for layering up in the winter so yeah i'm very very happy with this money well spent i found this organic cotton stripey top from zara i really like um stripey tops but i only have one in my wardrobe so i'd like to add some more pieces in with it with long sleeve a little bit cropped i've just noticed though that this is really kind of damaged on the back it serves me right for not checking i'll show you this is why you always need to check what you're buying but can you see that there's just some like fraying around the back this would be fine like it wouldn't show from the front at all really and it's a shame as well because it feels really high quality so i don't know how that's happened probably on a coat hanger here is the stripy shirt it's definitely very oversized and also a bit very cropped like there isn't much fabric to tuck in here especially if you're moving your arms around but i really like this style it's just a shame about praying on the back but as i said i don't think it's that noticeable they had so many amazing blazers and kind of coats in that store and I couldn't resist trying a few of them on and I accidentally bought two of them. Oh my god, coffee is so good. The first is this. This is a vintage coat and I paid the price for it. I paid £27 for this coat. The label here is removed but it has this logo at the bottom. It says for it's from a brand called Roma. It's got this kind of shielding fabric on the inside and a nice neutral waterproof kind of fabric on the outside. It's got huge big pockets. It's quite long on me, but it's got hood and I just feel like I'm wearing my duvet when I tried this on. So I am really happy with that. So here is the coat. It is so, so, so big on me. I don't think I quite <laughs> estimated how large it is on me. And I think it'd be better with kind of skinnier jeans because right now I look absolutely swamped in clothes but I can't take away from the fact that it's so comfortable and I think will last so well. Fleece lined like all the way around and it has this nice big hood as well and I kind of like the quilting detail on the outer coat so yeah can you let me know what you think about this please let me know whether you like it or not because it is it is a weird one I think Finally, in the men's section, always check the men's section. The men always have really nice shirts and like blazers, oversized and stuff. I found this raincoat, giving it a quick Google. It's from a brand called Duffer and St. George, which used to be a vintage menswear brand, which was bought by Debenham. But it seems like it's got a bit of a cult following online, which is interesting. But it's really beautiful, high quality kind of rain mac with a corduroy collar and a really cool checked print on the inside. Also has the corduroy detailing on the pockets and some toggles. It's just a really nice, well thought out Rain Mac. It was 14 pounds. And again, I've noticed that there are a couple of stains on 
the front which i'm they're not really visible like i didn't see them when i tried it on but i'm hoping i can get out it fits so nicely i love that again i just really love this kind of color at the moment i think it would definitely keep me warm and kind of dry in the rain it doesn't have a hood but i have got hoodies i can wear underneath it and it's kind of large enough to to layer up underneath as well yeah i just think i love the quality and the detailing of it i think there's loads going on and the blue and the brown contrast really beautifully so yeah i'm really happy with this the british heart foundation was the next stop i went to and i didn't pick up anything apart from a little belt i just thought this might be the belt that ties in with the bag and the kind of neutral theme i don't have many belts this color so here is the belt it goes so perfectly with the bag like it couldn't have been a better match even down to the kind of like woven detail they look so good together so i am really happy with both of those accessories and then my final store scope i found a really nice jumper from the brand noisy made it looks thin but it's really kind of thick kind of batwing sleeve super soft and i think this would just be a nice jumper to throw on underneath like a leather jacket this winter absolutely love this jumper this is actually i think one of my favorite items it's just so kind of cozy and kind of casual i love the kind of bat sleeves so that's everything i really hope you have enjoyed this video do let me know what your favorite item that i got was um if you would like me to do another one of these and you have any like great charity shop recommendations let me know what charity shops you love and i can go and visit them yeah lots of love guys Mwah.